Hello everyone, how you guys doing? Welcome back to the podcast, and I believe this is episode 12. Wow, we have 12 podcasts already. Alright, so this is uh, one that I really want to talk about the most, and believe me, uh, after I played the first played this game for the first time, I was like, okay, I, to understand it, I gotta play it a second time, then I play it a second time, and then I get to understood, like, how this story came about, how tragic and the most devastating and the biggest mistake a man has ever made. Okay, so other than that, you guys ready for this? Let's dive right into it. So this is the story about Boris Legosf. Now Boris Legosf, obviously he's deceased right now. He's a male and his filiations were federal, meaning he did not get get along with Fedra at all. His daughter's deceased. Uh, his daughter was named Sophia Legzov. And in Hillcrest, that's when Fedra actually came in and Fedra was trying to recruit some of the community to join them. But before Fedra actually came into the com- into Hillcrest, we're going to talk about the backstory in defending Hillcrest. Boris lived in Hillcrest, suburb of Seattle, with his daughter Sophia, and was well liked by his community. He was a skilled archer before the apocalypse, winning many trophies. Uh, Boris rose and standing among the peers following Albrecht Day with his archery talents, killing many clickers with ease. Sophia considered him the best clicker killer in the QZ. In time, he became the community's leader, so everyone loved him so much, and they thought that he was a really good leader and really good protector, because uh, using the bow of his, he could certainly really do damage, cause and effect, and I guess you could say he was uh, a mastermind genius at what he did. After Washington Liberation Front, the WLF, overthrew Fedra uh, in the military. So, Fedra was overrun by the WLF uh, because as soon as the WLF passed over um, the Seattle border, fuck Fedra gates, they passed the Serbina base, and then they end up into uh, Hillcrest. Only to become the city's new oppressors. His best friend Uli tried to convince him to stand up against their order to relocate to Soundview Stadium with the rest of the Seattle surviving population, believing that Boris could convince their neighbors to resist the WLF. So the thing is that. Um, some of Boris's friends thought that, hey, this WLF, they're getting out of control, like, there's a stadium that isn't that far from here, and I believe that if you get some of the residents, like the community, we could all walk over there together, because this is the ultimatum for the WLFs. WLFs were not playing around at this time. Remember, Isaac was rolling at this time. So basically, it was either join us or die. Yeah, seriously. Alright. So, <clears throat> with that said, his neighbor Yolanda, sensing trouble, asked Boris to look after her dog Alfie and left the city before things became worse. So, Boris was looking after dog Alfie, but Yolanda. Basically, I guess she went to Soundview Stadium. She like abandoned and left Boris, but some of Boris's friends were still kind of there. All right, for fighting the WF. However, tragedy struck when Sophia, while making protest art, was caught and gunned down by the WLF patrol, breaking in and enraging Boris, much to horror of his friends. Many people, including the Brandams, decided to comply with the WLF's orders of fear for their families. Some like Dale also wanted to join the WLF to have access to their medical supplies. Like I said before, WLF, after they took over the whole QZ, they took over all Federal's um, supplies, which include their medical supplies and their armory. 
The lack of communal support angered Boris, who wanted to wage war against the WLF, but he was a one-man army. No one wanted to uh, back him up. Back him up, meaning he tried to start a guerrilla group, like a militia group, but none of the, his friends, like, believed in him anymore. They're like, Fedra, it, I mean, the WLF is worse than Fedra. We cannot stand against them. We need to leave. But Boris, the death of his daughter was too much for him. So, he wanted to leech war on them. How he led war against them was that he led an ambushing and killing an entire patrol, leaving the message, come get me, on the side of their jeep. This caused his remaining neighbors Uli and X, including, to conspire to turn Boris in to save themselves. So, kind of like, I guess you could say, um, WLF were interrogating some of the residents. He said that if you're still going to live here, you need to tell us who is the one that killed one of our patrols and tagged one of our jeeps. Tell us. You have about, they give them a certain amount of time to turn them in, so they're conspiring against their friend Boris. However, Boris learned at this end, to this end, embittered by his friends, betrayal, drugged them unconscious, and dragged them into a garage full of spores. Wow. So he found out that his friends were going to turn him in and betray him. And so he just drugged them and drugged their bodies, dragged their bodies into a garage, well, into a storage room full of spores. That is brutal. Okay, so... And now infected Uli woke up and after a brief struggle bit Boris before being sealed in the garage. Boris wrote a final note to Yolanda. Yolanda never received that note, just let you guys know. Because she went to the stadium. Apologizing to her for not being able to take care of Alfie. So he gave Alfie to the WLF. And let me remind you, the WLF, they do have dogs that they train to kill infected and to kill scars. Writing that he could already feel himself lose his mind, he said he hoped that his former friend's final lucid thoughts would be of him as they turn into runners. So they all turn into infected, locked up inside the garage. Then he locked himself in his own garage and transformed into an infected, eventually becoming a stalker. Yeah. So I'm going to read you the events of how this came to happen, like how Boris found out all about this, what happened. So let's go to Boris's confession a little bit. So with Boris's confession, oh geez, let me... It is uh, really tragic and kind of sad a little bit. Yolanda, I'm sorry I won't be able to keep taking care of Alfie. You were right about the wolves. They turned out to be worse than the military. What I didn't expect is that our own neighborhood would turn on each other. They all saw what the wolves did to my poor Sophia. And what did everyone want to do in turn? A piece I deserve wolf blood. They should have joined me. Instead, they conspired against me. So I got them first. I poisoned them one by one. Not enough to kill them. Just to put them to sleep. Then I dragged them into a spore garage. Uli woke up. We wrestled. I shut him in there. But he bit me. Those traitors are going to watch themselves churn. They will suffer. I hope they think of me when they lose their minds. I'm already starting to lose my mind. It won't be long now. I hope you find peace somewhere outside of this shitty town. I hope you don't come back to see all this. If you do, I'm sorry. Boris. That was his final letter. Okay, so I'm going to also read you guys some of the events of the others that actually happened. So this was uh, the condolences note. The condolences note is a little heavy for you guys. Okay. So Boris, this is from Uli. 
Boris, I'm so sorry what those wolves did to Sophia was horrifying. I can't help but to feel somewhat responsible. I've been getting the town so riled up about our standing our ground against the wolves. When she started to spray paint over the rules, I didn't discourage her hard enough. I kept it from you. I thought she'd stop. I know you want to retaliate against the wolves. Believe me, I feel the same way. But we can't. Not right now. We've got to be smart. Let things cool down. People will be looking to you for you to handle this. You are a leader after the outbreak. I need you to be the leader again. Let's not let anything, everything we fought for be in vain. Uli. So she was trying to I uh, give Boris some hope and say that you're still our leader. We still will follow you. But eventually things got out of control. And this is the drawing that Sophia actually drew uh, her father. Which is pretty nice. And so this also was a need plan note. This need plan note is getting real heavy. Okay. So this is also from Uli, a second note. Boris, what did we get ourselves into? The wolves were supposed to make things better. The military hoard all over our resources, controlled what we said, told us what job to do, and so far, the wolves are doing the exact same thing, and now they're talking about moving everyone to the stadium. What? I grew up in this town. I survived the outbreak in this town. I'm not moving to some refugee camp where some asshole tells me where and when I can wipe my own ass. This is my home. We need a plan. We can't settle for the same thing, Uli. So she kept sending these letters uh, to Boris over and over, trying to get to him to see if he will actually pay attention to them. But no, he didn't. Alright, this is the note in Hillcrest. You'll find this note in the tattoo parlor. Alright, this is actually from Uli. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Uli. You know our hearts will always be with Hillcrest, but after Sophia's shooting, we decided to head to the stadium with the others. Basically, the WLF stadium now. WLF took over the stadium. We've got our own kids to think about. The Branhams, P.S. saw Boris a couple hours ago. We tried talking to him, but he seemed off. Please talk to him. I hope you guys will join us. So this was from the Brandmans, and they're trying to send a message to Uli about this. So Boris was acting a straught, acting weirder than normal. And so uh, you'll find this one. This is the combination, Dale's combination, but you really uh, don't need it. If you want to find it, be my guest. But this is what it also actually says. Uh, yo, when Dale comes back, gonna go ask for the safe combo. Uh, just walk over to the garage and put it in yourself. Otherwise, he's gonna um, bother you eight more times. The combo is 38265. Someone needs to talk to his wife. I know she thinks he's gonna be better off, but this time. It's getting practical. I heard the WLF have some real doctors at their base. Nobody would blame him, blame her for leaving except Boris. But fuck him. Wow. You guys hear that? So the community were turned on Boris. Because Boris kept on having his own issues. His own plans like outrage and anger. They're like, I don't care about Boris anymore. Like, that man could go like fuck himself and stuff. I was like, wow. That's like messed up. Secretly, they're passing these notes talking smack about Boris. Like, he's been off and stuff. Maybe we should leave him behind. Okay, so this one also is very, very interesting and important. This is the last one I want to show you guys. This is the turn in Boris. This is the note that Boris read and he was angry. Okay. So, 
on this one, I don't know what to say about this. This was from X. Uli, it was Boris. I saw him shoot the WLF patrol against their own van. Their own van. Jesus, I get it. They killed his daughter, but he just signed our death warrants. We have one chance out of this. We turn him in. I know he's your friend. But if those wolves shot that girl over some graffiti, think of what they'll do to all of us. If they think we're harboring the killer of three of their own. So Boris killed three soldiers. Let's meet at the usual place after curfew X. So yeah, when Boris got this note, he got angry. So after that, the lore of the story is that Boris, um, he got some, he got some of his arrows and he infected them with some, I guess like Anastasia and he wounded them. He only shot them like in the arm or in the leg, just uh, drug them. And after that, he dragged all of them into the garage. When he dragged them all into the garage, in, where it's full of spores, that's when basically Uli got up. Uli tried to get out. Uli was just bit him, and he finally shut the door and locked it. He put the um, garbage can and locked them inside there forever. He was still bitten, so he wrote his last letter, his confession, put it on his, uh, I guess you'd say his dining table, went inside the garage, and he turned into a stalker. And that is the story about Boris. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are new, subscribe to the channel. And yes, of course, I'll see you all in the next one.